And now, a semifinal match. Former national champion Randy Peterson, acrobatic Randy Peterson, tough opponent against Brian Voss. This should be a great match. Youngest player in the field today, 25, 6'2", 165 pounds from Santa Maria, California. Get up, ball. Talking to the ball. Okay. Watch him move. Moves with alacrity, I tell you. Well, these players are going for lots and lots of money, and it's their job. There's also some psychology and match play. Brian Voss carries himself with that real positive demeanor, and Randy Peterson, a proven talent, is very acrobatic. Let's see if one player can out psych the other one and out bowl him. We're all even here at Landmark Recreation Centers, owned by Ray Becker and operated by his daughter Cindy and her husband Doug Holmes. And what a job they do. Yes, they do, Chris. As you see, the second arrow trajectory by Brian Voss. One, three, five, and nine pins. The ball hits four pins. The other six pins are put to rest by the action of the bowling pin and those four pins. Now Voss up on the lane he had a little bit of trouble with in the second match. Let's see what happens here in the semifinal. Continuing that consistency, they got him two wins. 238 in his first match against Roth's 237, and then uh, over Scott Deaver's 229 to 193. Okay, here's another look at Randy Peterson. Watch him. He is really an interesting young man. young man Randy Peterson started the junior leagues at age eight he said the first year he averaged 93 obviously has made some improvements since then his dad was a 185 average bowler and a left-hander as you see the grip of Randy Peterson spread index finger tucked pinky all right boss the fingertip grip spreads the index finger Tightens the ring, the little finger around the ball is really looking sharp this year. Three bagger. Wide world coming up after our live telecast from Landmark. I did a rod trail sled dog race. Really fantastic bow to watch them cover that amount of territory over the four day period. Oof. Yeah, it's a long race, Chris, and uh, the women have done quite well in that. Uh, mm -hmm. I did around. It'd be interesting to see how well they do this year. Women always do well. And then <laughs> men's World Cup skiing. It's for the overall title final um, competition of the year on that circuit, plus a Brian Boitano interview. Well, our chance in this game to give away a $200,000 check has ended right there, leaving a seven pin in the fourth frame. Voss quickly up. Watch the action of the ball. As you usually see a drive through and knock the five out, but this time the ball deflects when it hits the one three. Now look at that ball. See the ball going to the right? What we talk about the pro move is when a player gets the wrist behind the ball and it drives through that zone. Voss didn't catch it all that time. As we're through four frames, Brian Voss leads by 19. We'll be back. The preparation of Randy Peterson right here as he trails by 19 pins. Needs a double to close the match up with Brian Boss. Oh, yeah. Well, he'll start talking now to that bowling ball a little bit more. Well, uh, I have bowled well all, all year. I've only missed catching in two events. And uh, I just, you know, I physically I felt like I was throwing the ball as good as I could throw it, but I'm not knocking anything down. So through the suggestion of Bill Hall, I went to finger grips this week. And it changed my role just enough, and I think it's the ticket, you know, I think it's what I've been looking for. All right. Bill Hall, one of the player services people that works and helps drill bowling balls for the bowlers out here, and the finger grips are inserts in the finger holes that give you a little better grip on the ball. It's really helping him now. He can take the lead. He didn't talk to that one. 
and not as loudly as he did on that strike shot in the previous frame. But he leaves the seven pin as Dave Ferraro, the tournament leader, continues to practice and warm up. Watch his reaction, though. He knows it's in that light zone. He likes that with his power. Come on, five pin, take out that seven. Spare here, and he would trail by ten. Now back to Brian Voss. Voss leading by 10, a spare up shooting in the fifth frame. This is our next to last head to head match championship game coming up. to the fourth to strike up for boss in the fifth. The shot that the players love when they can strike light. Watch the action of the head pin. It'll go to the sideboard and take out the four, five, and seven pins. A key shot for pro bowlers. You watch Palmer Falgren last week win the King Louis in the 10th frame with this shot. Good safe shot. Tremendous pin action. That's the shot that if a player can carry, he can shoot some big scores as boss has done so far today. the pressure with that double Brian Voss. Voss just playing the championship pair so well Chris he's made the adjustment on the left lane he struggled a little bit in the second match he bowled made an adjustment about four boards left on the approach trusting the ball to the right and he has been around the pocket every shot has been keeping the pressure on his opponents. Hang on. Leaving the 10 pen and Further frustration for the 25-year-old from Santa Maria, California. 42-game format this week. He started right near the middle of the pack, 26th, moved up to 7th in the qualifying, then the 24 match game finals, 13th, 5th, qualifying 2nd. Has to close down 21-pin difference between he and Boss if he's going to stay in 2nd place. Winner to go on to the championship match for 27,000. Could Randy be a stand up comedian, Bo? <laughs> He's very entertaining in the locker room. Uh, he has a very quick mind, very quick witted mind, and uh, just a wonderful personality. And he likes to go out to uh, some of the nightclubs or comedy places in his area and uh, kind of fill in, so to speak. And he's just a pleasure to be around. Mm hmm. Beautiful stroke by Randy Peterson in the seventh frame, but he continues to trail the leader, Brian Voss. More action here other than bowling at Landmark. BC's Professional Bowlers Tour keeps on rolling. Next stop, the $200,000 Milwaukee Championship. Next Saturday on ABC Sports. Shot of the ball returns here at Landmark along with part of the crowd. We say a capacity crowd. Well, bowling establishments, you can't get huge crowds, but six or seven hundred, that's, that fills it up. It's too bad we don't have room for more spectators, but we're glad you joined us on television. Double up for Voss, shooting in the seventh. just so sharp that win at the national championship just perked him up and he just looks so good as you look at our tournament leader here is a man that has contended with boss many times these two players the last five times that David Ferraro has made the championship round he has been in that round with this man right here boss who has a chance to open a commanding lead against 1987 national champion Randy Peterson eighth frame Finished fourth behind this man who won the championship in Toledo. <laughs> he opened with three, a spare. Now he's strung four, increasing his lead to 41. 
Like a concert pianist, he's playing these lanes uh, in and out, in and out, making great shots on the left-hand lane, and he's opened up a 41-pin lead as something I'll be watching tomorrow, Chris. Uh, once again, I said I'm rooting for my old Southern Illinois man, Jimmy Connors, in the International Players Tennis Championships. Should be exciting. His opponent, Mats Vlander. Now, must situation for Randy. Bang. Crushing shot. Or Peterson is taking a close look at the pen set up on the left lane. Doesn't ask for a re rack. Carefully wipes off the bottom of his bowling shoes. Good point, Chris. You don't want to slip or stick at this crucial point in the match. Just good pre shot preparation for Randy Peterson. Needs this strike to cut the lead of Voss down to just 21, ninth frame. Three titles to his credit, the AC Delco, PBA National, and the Fair Lanes Open. In fact, last year, won the PBA National, and then went on to win the Fair Lanes. Tough competitor. These two players are bowling as well as any two players I've seen all year long. They're waiting for their swings, their discipline. They're not paying any attention to the pressure. They're just giving every shot the best they can give in a relaxed manner. That's hard to do in a championship round. Big <laughs> string at four, his body at the line, imitating the wobbly four. Well, Boss could have just about captured the match and locked it up, but what happened? That two pin goes the side bit board, it, it rocks against the four pin, but it doesn't take it out, and this leaves a situation where we could have a tie match once again. Peterson, a possible 248, Boss going at a 248 pace. Actually, advantage even here. No advantage. Even though there's 20 pins to the good of Brian Boss, he's on the tougher of the two lanes and under the pressure. Let's see if he can make that nice, loose, relaxed shot to the right and avoid the high hit. Memory has won our first two matches here today. <laughs> Leaving the 4-8. Psychology of match play, Randy Peterson, the higher of the two finishers in the tournament. He finished second after 42 games. He decided to have Brian Voss finish on the left-hand lane. So far, has worked out for Randy, but he still has to perform to win the match. He has a chance to strike out and win. Let's see if Voss can finish in the 240s. Brian Voss, if you just joined us, defeated Mark Roth by one pin, 238-237. Then Scott Devers, 229 to 193. And what appeared to be well in hand now has come down to a very, very close match. Boss with a strike would be 246. He cannot shut out Peterson. Peterson still has a chance at 248. Oh, what a break. The 10 pin dropping at the last moment. 245. What averages today for Brian Voss? Mm. Voss just kind of floats it out. It's really not that important to strike this last ball. He leaves what looks like it's going to be an 8 10 split. The six just love taps the 10 out. A finish of 245 for Brian Voss. And the situation for the 1987 national champion, Randy Peterson, as he steps up on the approach, he must strike on the next two balls and get eight pins. Anything less, Voss will be the winner. The three, the six, the ten. And so, tough break for Peterson. Brian Voss will be in the final against Ferraro.